Hi, it's Jess here from Night Jessica Creates. Thank you for joining me today. So uh, we're going to do lyrics and grungy um, today. And I am filming this on the 28th, so it will catch me up. Um, but you won't see it then. So for lyrics, I'm thinking of my favourite song. Um, and... Uh, I'm thinking I'm going to put some music paper on here. I haven't got the music paper of my favourite song, but what I have got is um, this um, music um, that you would write music on. So I think this would be quite cool if I can get it off just came into me in a flash whilst I was sitting there looking at it thinking what, what should I do? Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to rip it off. So because actually I don't want that in bit anyway. Let's move it out of the way. That's quite a nice little strip. That can go in me strips. Right, so this then needs to be ripped again. So let me just think about how wide it needs to be. It needs to be four and a half. Where is four and a half? Is about there. It's a bit more than I required, but it doesn't matter. And I'm thinking, so I'll come off there. Right, so we have this to go on there. It does not have to cover the whole page. So I might, I'd like it to cover that corner. And I might rip up. so and I could then put that on that side maybe maybe right like that that would be pure and simple what we need to do there so just give it a bit of an ink let me have a bit of music for Let's just draw some musical notes on here. I'm not very good. I'm not going to draw treble clef. Not a chance. <sighs> Drawing a bit of music. It's slightly thicker than I would like. Now we maybe have a bit in pencil if we're trying out something that we think we might pursue later. stick that down and then what I need to do is get the song lyrics and I think I might print them off right let's stick this down right and on this page um, I want to gesso it so that um, I can uh, stick the lyrics on it and want it to be dulled down a bit I 
Right, now I want to get a tissue to wipe some of that off. And I'm thinking... There, just to give it a little bit of a lift there. So, I'll leave that to dry whilst I find the song lyrics. So, I have printed off the words to Romeo and Juliet by Dire Straits. Um, one of my all-time top ten favourite songs. And so I thought, um, put the lyrics this side, and I thought, oh, it'd be nice to have a picture of Romeo and Juliet. So then I ended up down a whole rabbit hole. Um, I found a Romeo and Juliet poster. And um, and then I didn't want to just print one poster, so I went in search of others. I ended up with about 24, 25 posters. <laughs> and then... They, they needed cleaning up. This one was terribly damaged all around the edge. Um, so, and this one had a great big crease along the middle. So, clean them all up. I probably sat in my kitchen for about two hours doing this when I'm in a hurry. Um, so, yeah. So, I'll pop this on my Kofi as a little freebie. I think they're really handy. Nice size for little journaling cards. Um, you can print two to a page and um, so you've got smaller things this would go nice on a tag um, on a pocket front you could even print them smaller and they could be the focal point of a of a cluster so I really like them um, so I'm not sure if I want this size or the other size and I thought the poster would be nice over there eh, they were my thoughts so I have printed these on um, 200 I know 120 GSM presentation paper at the photo fine quality. I know the song Romeo and Juliet is not anything to do with the Shakespeare play Romeo and Juliet, but you know. I've even been to, um, I've been to, um, 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 Verona, where they've got a Juliet balcony and a statue of Juliet. Actually, I think that's a nice size for there. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's a fictitious character, but somebody's cashing in on it. And uh, so in Verona in Italy, which is a very, very beautiful place. Um, it's got a Colosseum, it's lovely. Um, yeah, they have Juliet's balcony. Ed Bont impressed when I went, I want to see Julie Jett's balcony. We were only there for a day. We were visiting from, we were staying near Venice. So it was a long trip to get there. The woman at the hotel thought we were absolutely bonkers when we went, we're going to visit for the day. She went, this is a very long way. We went, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I like that. I want to put something underneath it. I got a bit doily, please. Yeah, so, yeah, we had to go. He took photos for me. There's a little statue of Juliet. And, um, yeah, you have to rub a, a bit of her body, which I think is a bit um, outrageous, really, um, for luck or to bring you romance or whatever. Anyway, I didn't really do that bit, but, um, or maybe I did because I thought it was funny. I don't know. Yeah, we'll have a bit of that. We'll have a bit of that behind. So, um, yeah. But I do love the Dire Straight song. It is fabulous. And, um, I, uh. I really enjoy the Indigo Girls version of it as well. If you've ever listened to that, it's brilliant. So, other people have done it and all. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. So, we'll stick that down. And then I've just, I'm not going to put all of the lyrics. 
I did print it all and I double spaced it so that I could rip between, I might use my deckled edge trimmer, would probably be easier. I have printed on ordinary copy of paper so that it will rip easily. I like it. So it is now the 29th of January. This will go out on the 30th because I've just literally published day 25 and 26. So, so we might run over into bed. Oh, love that. Love it. Right, so we've now got... We've now got this, so I'm going to get my blending brush. I'm not sure which bit I'm going to um, cut out. So I'm just going to go over. I did think about printing this on tea dyed paper or, you know, printing some de tied paper on the top. No, I didn't. I just thought, oh, we'll just do this. Got Mark Loffler there. Or Dire Straits, who wrote it. And I might just pick out different bits. I think that will do for now. So I'm going to rip down there. So that it can actually go in. I got this now put away in a place where I can't just reach it and um, yeah I don't like it. Well I haven't quite finished all me, just gonna go over this bit, all me um, sorting out in the room so there are obstacles in the way which don't help. There we go. Bit of that. So I want, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it down halfway so that I can get to where I want. cycle right and I guess I quite like that actually I've just took that off and I've just read that and I thought that's actually the first bit of the song there right up to and we realized just that the time was wrong is probably the best bit to go in there and then I don't have to I can put the title there and then I can put Mark Knopfler at the bottom um, yeah Okay, so I am going to just lay these out.
Oh, now I've got to the stage where it's like, oh, I've got to sing it to myself in my head. Right, all sorted now. Got all the lyrics right. So I think I'm just going to glue these down. And then I think rather than, oh, I don't know. I say rather than go around each of the edges, I might just do it with my brush once it's stuck down. Yeah, we'll do that. Right, let's go over it now. There, love it, love it, love it. That is, oh, I've got to put the little day 27 in it. Oh, man, I've got to do 20. I was thinking I was done, but I've got grungy to do, haven't I? Right. I do love grunge, so that shouldn't be a problem. Okay, I think I might do lyrics up there. I might get a bit of... Of this I think don't think there's many pages where I haven't actually put a bit of juice cloth on there we go Romeo and Juliet dire straits love it so now we've got grungy we have a pocket um, we need to do a bit on this. I'm wondering. Oh look, I was looking for one of them and I had it there. I'm wondering if um, a bit of a bit of oxide spray on this because it's um, shiny. What did I do with the last shiny one? Oh, I did get it to cover a bit. I covered it in paper. That's what you did, Judge. You covered it in paper. Right, I think I'm going to go a bit all out. Right. Ground espresso. Gathered twigs. That's me two brownie ones. I've got any sprays. We'll love them. We'll love them. Um, I want to cover the other side as well. Yeah, that'll do. 
That's Mackie Jones. Get a bit of grunge. Right, so certainly got grungy background. Need to just dry that off a little bit. It's a bit there. Don't wanna, don't wanna dry. So I we'll just do a bit of dabbing now. Something to go down there. So. Can't do that. Stick that down there. Need a little bit. That'll do for now. So. I might just. I literally put that bit of paper that I was just spraying on down and now I can't find it. Put it down out of the way. Now I can't find it. I know what I'm gonna do. Bring the box in. Bring the box in. Oh, got that already grunged from spraying before. Yeah, I still grunge that bit. Grungier than a very grungy thing. Right. So we've got a bit of that go down there. So grungy.
right, because that's go up a bit. I can stick this down right underneath. And I reckon I've probably got a grungy tag in my ready-made stuff. I can pop in here. Gonna get art glitter glue, I think. Oh, look. Because that's... Oh, dear. Yeah, grungy page, grungy hands. So we do properly need. Right. I've got these grungy bits. Right, we're going to do... Do glue stick because it just disintegrates. Okay, got a bit of grungy doily. Yeah, stick that on there. Nice, nice, nice. Right. I want grab some grungy dash of day, I think. Right, that is that done. I am just going to see if I've got a grungy tag in my ready-made tags. Right, I found a couple of contenders. So let's have a look-see. That's now stuck nicely. So I've got this grungy one. Now, it's not... That's smooth under there. That needs a bit sticking up there. Needs to be stuck down because the tags are catching on that. There we go. So for that one, I'm thinking this set here probably the best bet uh, this thinner one that'll fit in we've got a little bit of similar colors going on there let's try this one I think I'll go this one, it's slightly thinner. Proper grungy that. Yeah, we'll do that. Put these back. So that is grungy. Um, maybe put something on the bottom here. Hmm. 
Yeah. Gonna do that. I think crunch, you just can't go wrong, really. Just, just chucking things on. Add lots of ink. Ripping. Jobs are good. Un. And then we just need our grungy tile. A well and truly grungy page. Oh, and I've only got three left. So this is coming out on Tuesday. Uh, so yeah, I could probably do. Will I manage to do all three in one go? Probably not. There, that view there. Um, so I'll do the last one and a flip through, which will be like a reflection in itself. Um, um, yeah, so we'll probably have that out on Thursday. So that'll be the first of Feb. So I'm only a day late, which I don't think is too bad at all. I can't believe how I've kept up with it, to be honest. There we go. That is grungy. So we've done lyrics and grungy and just three more pages to go. So that's the 28th done on the 29th you'll see it on the 30th yeah i think that's no yeah i think that's it yeah okay my chunky chunky journal all right then so thanks for joining me again and i'll see you all again tomorrow with someone else it might be another page or i might do i've actually scheduled something for wednesday on my usual slot so I might not do this. So thanks for joining me. I'm going to get thoroughly washed up and I'll see you all again soon.